Hi, I'm Abdul from Bitcoin Technologies Limited. Uh, today I will show you the features over features and overview of Joe CRM new options recently launched Joe Circuit. So in Circuit uh, we can do many advanced workflow. So let's get started. Click on settings. Go to circuit from developer space. Click circuit. Now, so Joe circuits let you coordinate multiple Joe and third party services into serverless or flows. So you can build and monitor applications quickly and translate business process requirement into technical requirement with pace that means any complex or flow can be integrated in a single place and it could be executed in in under on joe circuit so it will also give you the times to put the delay based on the seconds uh, previously it was not possible to put delay below 10 minutes now it's possible based on the second so let's get started for getting the health documents you can click here okay and now we can go here what is joho circuits in crm previously it was the features of joho catalyst now has been integrated with joho crm so the advantages of using circuit in CRM, orchestrate a, and automate task, configure very complex or flow very easily in a single one, diagnosis error and view details very good way, and you can see the sample JSON code using existing functions all the functions should be triggered from on places and you see the limit available for enterprise version is 15000 and ultimate 20000 so this is a huge uh, circuit credits because for running on functions on on circuit should be taken care as on and let's get started just create a new circuit give a name test put your description creating so create okay so this is the flow control or this is the illustration about the process so i'm going to skip it so in flow there is two things on for builder view another one is code view so what we will do in the builder it should be reflected in the code view so at first we need to begin it and we need to end it and in the begin and end stage there will be a lot of stage should be associated under stage on so when the stage is started and it passes to the end so what we can do in the left pan there is a flow control jo crm so what we can do we can create a wait for going from on stage to another stage we can use the wait features so what should be the previous state of it it should be the start and the next one should be the start one so create so it will go 
to the new state we can give a name like weight so what you can do for going on stage to another you can set the seconds how many seconds uh, it will wait for going on stage to another you can put 50 second or 15 second whatever you want you need to wait uh, for it sometimes you created a record in crm and then you update it so after creation you need to wait uh, a certain period of time so this time should be the duration for weight so any custom value should be footed here and output should be reflected here so in the start we are not taking any inputs and in the next this is we are waiting 15 seconds now what we can do if it success we can show the success message we can put it up so previous still should be the weight next one should be the state one okay so and a lot of features like batch parallel paths weight success uh, to run the crm function uh, to use multiple circuit in a one in one to create record get record from the different sources So previous stage I'm putting state one, the end state should be any state. And you see there is an option to get record from different sources. Get organization, get users, and get variables, whatever you want. So there are a lot of features um, actually in the circuits uh, for designing the very complex application and the process. So thanks for watching the video. In next video, we'll try to cover um, every single flow like pass, branch, parallel, weight, batch, success, failure, function, circuit, record, organization, user, organization, variable, webhook, everything. And this circuit can be usable inside Joho workflow. So thanks for the for watching the video. See you in the next part.